Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Once again, my name is Brandon. I'm an acting and performance coach and today I'm going to be reacting to a song suggested by multiple people. I'm going to find this. Someone sent me, someone sent me uh, a comment that gave me the pronunciation of his name and I want to look this up. Okay, so there was a Heather, a Heather S, and this is how she said to pronounce it. I'm gonna give it a shot really quickly, and if I screw it up, it's all Heather's fault. Blame her. I'm just kidding, sorry. Thank you so much for your help. His name is Loic Note. Or Loic Note? It's really the intonation now that I'm scared of. Loic is what I'm getting. Is it, because I doubt it's Loic. Loic. Note? 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 Loic Note. I doubt my pronunciation is really awesome, awesome. So I don't know, Mr. Mr. Mm. Mr. Slash. Mm. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I was told specifically to watch the official video first. That's fine. Uh, I will say that I'm having trouble with the first video of his that I put up. It's still under dispute for the copyright claim. So if it disappears, that's why if you do want to see it or you want to share it around, do it quickly because it may disappear at any time as, if they decide that they want to, if they want to take it down, there's really nothing I can do about it. So I'm excited to see this one. I have no idea what it's about, but apparently there is English subtitle. So I'm excited about that. We're just going to jump right into it. Louis, uh, Louis Nute, Louis Nute, Louis Nute. I don't know. I might just stop trying. Here we go. I love the aesthetic already. Not really noir. I'm trying to place the look. The light's a little harsh for noir. Okay, so uh, really quickly, I want to just make a couple of comments. I'm trying to follow. There's so much going on. Okay, so there's so much going on. So he's very talented. We discovered that in the last video. He's very talented, right? So his voice is great. That's fine. The problem is I'm trying really hard to take in sort of the atmosphere of the video. And at the same time, I'm attempting to keep up with the lyrics, which normally isn't trouble for me. But the fact that they're kind of quick paced means I'm reading quick. I'm not having any time to look up and experience the, the, just sort of the atmosphere. I'm going to read these lyrics back and then I'm going to listen to it and just let it go, right? And and really just enjoy it. So you know what we're gonna do? Again, editing me is gonna hate me today. Just straight hate me. So much, so, so, so much. So I'm, I'm looking back at the lyrics a little bit just so I can try to make sure I caught what I, I think I caught. I don't wanna miss anything here. This song is long, nearly seven minutes long. I thought it was interesting his line that formalities age people. I'm getting serious existentialism. Maybe even some nihilistic um, vibes a little bit from this. I am, um, I start these videos with such um, energy, like I try to give you guys energy, right? I try to give you guys positivity, 
and these videos, some of these are really tough to get through, but this one in particular kind of hit me really hard just a second ago. It didn't even, I, I didn't see it before my first pause, right? Um, I think I saw a comment suggesting this one, and they told me I would need tissues. I have, I have tissues. I think I may need them. I'm going to have a lot to say at the end of this song. I think if, if, um, if my commentary is anything interesting to you at all, if it's any part of why you're here, then you might want to stick around because I think there's so much going through my head right now and I'm probably going to get a little too personal and overshare the way I do. But I can't do it in the middle of the song. I can't do it right now. I just can't. This part here really killed me where he started talking about a planet all his own with no hatred, with no... His voice here is so... I love it when a singer is singing and I don't just hear notes. I hear feeling. I hear the pain or the joy. I can hear it. I love it. The exacerbation that he's feeling, the sort of fed upness. There's a sense that like it does it's unnecessary. Like there's too much. It's too much. It's going on all the time. There's too much happening all the time. There's no reason I should be hurting this way. I can't escape. So tell God to find another way. Some other way for me to... without offending him. Because this is... He, he <laughs> It's like saying God either needs to fix this problem or get over it and give me a way out. I think it's interesting he says he'd like to write him a world just for him. I have to listen to that one part again. Hold on one second. La seule chose que j'aime en ta création, l'homme, c'est qu'il peut rêver chaque nuit comme les mômes. Qu'on soit vieux, jeune, village, gentil ou encore moche, on a le droit de rêver sans même rien dans les poches mendiants. J'implore le soir, je m'en dis de l'espoir, mais la nuit est radine, madame garde sa morphine parce que j'ai pas payé. Du moins pas assez, né de parents sans fortune, elle me refuse la lune. I don't know if this one's going to be very entertaining, guys. He's killing me. Just met... Like, no more questions. Just leave me alone and let me be. Like, there's no solutions, right? You're not giving me any solutions. You're not... Stop trying to make me fit. Stop trying to make me fit. You're asking these leading questions. You're asking these questions like I'm suddenly going to wake up and realize, oh yeah, this world makes sense. It all fits. I get it now. No more problems. I, I might be uh, projecting. Even with empty pockets. Whether we're old, young, naughty, nicer, ugly, we have the right to dream even with empty pockets. That's so powerful. De l'espoir, mais la nuit est radine, madame garde sa morphine, parce que j'ai pas payé, du moins 
pas assez Né de parents sans fortune Elle me refuse la lune Puisque certes dans ce monde On ne peut vivre sans ces nombres Que tes enfants ont transformé En méchants monstres Chaque mois tu en gagnes Chaque jour tu en perds L'addition est sévère Je rends la note qui te l'enfer C'est vrai je m'avoue que t'es vaincu Je la fous, je la suis La vie me bouffe avec un seul d'amertume Malheur en tant moi hurler Cher toutes mes tripes Dans ce son qui compte la vie d'un con Pessimiste, je me sens C'est le plus tard, personne me dit un amour Personne avec qui partager Cette gloire putain Je marche seul sur un chemin Qui s'en sent lendemain J'accélère mes personnes Ne m'attends à la fin Alors chaque soir de bois Je me tranche la gueule Pour oublier qu'au fond Le succès, ça rend seul Peu d'amis, peu de vie Je suis en fait Dieu, j'ai besoin d'un guet Certains beaux font des ronds Que j'abuse, j'exagère Mais je les emmerde, c'est con Car je suis jeune et je galère Dans ma tête, c'est le bordel Qui a éteint la lumière Maman, je n'y vois plus clair J'ai besoin qu'on m'éclaire D'amour, c'est le bonheur Quand tu donnes à ton cœur À bouffer un amour Qui calme tes douleurs Tu oublies ton malheur Mais au fond, ce n'est qu'un leurre Dans cette génération qu'on remplit le monde le cœur brisé, pas besoin de l'appeler. La solitude débarque, elle lui a envie de te trouver. Elle n'attend pas que tu revennes, elle entre sans frapper. Tes coups de blouse sont pour elle, un 4 heures à pomper. Alors, toi, qui es-tu Au fond, le sais-tu Car moi, je ne sais plus qui je suis, je suis perdu. Mon ambition est grande, tu as satisfaire. Mon bonheur a le coup d'une saveur amère. Alors, monsieur, madame, je l'avoue, je suis malheureux Et pourtant je vis de mon rêve de mon feu Mais c'est plus fort que moi, il me manque encore ça Ça et ça là-bas, toujours plus je suis comme ça Alors j'espère qu'un jour, je pourrai faire amour à une personne sincère qui ne me jouera pas tout J'en ai vraiment assez de donner sans retour Je suis saoulée de mes mémoires sans âme Sœur, c'est lourd, mais sachez tout de même que sur scène Grâce à vous, j'ai l'impression d'être loin de ce monde de fou Car j'écris quand je me plante et je ris Quand je danse et je vis Quand je chante et pour tout ça je te dis merci Wow What a beautiful way to end the song Well, there was a lot of beautiful sentiments in that song. A lot of very potent and relatable ideas. One of the things I love about music, and, and it's one of the things for which I'm a little jealous of singers, specifically, because I can't, I, I'm not a good singer, I can't sing, but the ability to really 
pour yourself out that way uh, vocally has got to feel pretty damn good. And um, it's something that's pretty unique to vocal performers. Uh, and I mean, other artists can get it out in different ways, um, whether you're actors or painters or whatever. There are other ways to get out those emotions, but just to be able to vocalize that there's a reason they tell you to go outside and scream sometimes. It feels good, and, and it's good for you, uh, uh, even in your physiology, but it's just, um, I'm kind of jealous. I don't, I don't know what to share here. Um, I am a person who has struggled all of their life with mental illness whether it was in myself, in family members. Uh, it, it's been a constant presence in my life. And I've been to some fairly low places. And this song, his lyrics, with these lyrics, he was able to characterize some of the spaces, emotional, mental spaces I found myself in, probably better than pretty much anybody I've ever heard in song before. So much so that it was a little overwhelming and there were a couple of times I thought I might need to stop and actually walk away. I'm glad I didn't have to do that. I'm going to try not to overshare here in the end, but um, he did an amazing job through the first two-thirds of the song at least, going in and out of different states of being where going from feeling angry to lonely to fed up to just done, just numb and just whatever and okay. And I guess I'm just here now. And loneliness is such a painful place to live. And I saw that a little bit later in the song. But the way he ended it really kind of shifted my mood. The idea that through his art, through dance, through his music, through singing, through performing, he is able to pull himself away from what he called this world. And I, I don't think he's talking about interdimensional travel or, or anything like that. I just think that he means you can say the world and not be talking about the physical rock that we stand on, right? The world is this construct of ideas and uh, uh, paradigms and systems and rules that we have have put in place over the history of our time on this planet and there are many different worlds on this planet and we don't all fit in all of them I haven't fit in mine and I kept searching for new ones and I would try new ones on and every time I would commit 100% and fight to shove myself into whatever shape I needed to be to fit in that world. And it always left me in worse condition than I was when I went in. Uh, and then the, the pyramid cracks and the dominoes start to fall and you end up back at zero. Professional troubles, personal troubles, relationships falling apart. Disappointing people, losing control of yourself, losing perspective, and then ending up right back where you started, but in worse condition. And that's a cycle that happens to so many of us so often. And it's not that there's anything wrong with you. The system is, is broken. The, the world that you're living in may not fit you. And that doesn't mean you need to change. It means maybe you need to find a new world. And this, I don't know how to do that, so don't ask me. I don't know. I'm working on it, right? And we all, we're all just trying to do the best we can with the tools we have. And thankfully for someone like him, he found his music. He found dance. He found performance. And that's what gives him those moments of acceptance and those moments of existence without judgment, existence without persecution or expectation. It's kind of interesting to talk about a performer on stage in front of however many people 
being able to find moments without expectation there because he knows where he fits there. He doesn't try to be anybody he's not. He doesn't try to dance like anybody that he's not. He doesn't try to sing like someone else. He is able to stand up there and just be himself. And while he's up there, the world is right. He's in a space where he fits. That's my take. I don't know. I don't know if it made any sense at all. All that being said, this was a great song. Mr. and Mrs. Mr. and Miss, something like that, from uh, Loic Nate. I, it's, I'm, it's not going to feel right. Y'all tell me how I did. I'm like, give me a grade, right? Consider that my accent is never great, but give me a grade. One to ten, one being absolute unrecognizable garbage and 10 being pristine pronunciation and accent which i do not have so i know i won't get any of those that's your scale give me a one to ten down in the comments below give me a one to ten on how you think i do with his name loic note this was a great experience this is an amazing song um i think that it was the, the video was beautiful i think the video was very creative and very specific to the song and i like to see that it was a great experience to watch it and to go through it I'll probably listen to this a couple of times more now that I know the lyrics a little bit and, and I can focus more on the other aspects of the song. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, click the little bell icon to get notified the next time I upload a video, and leave me a comment down below to let me know what you thought of the video and, and anything you might like me to react to in the future. If you haven't thought about it, please think about coming over and joining the Patreon. Sign up, get videos early, get early releases, get some uh, other updates and things for me, be able to communicate with me one-on-one, -on -one, and have a lot more input on the direction I go with the channel. And last but certainly not least, remember to always be kind to each other and most importantly, be kind to yourself.